Hi everybody, it's Alan of Shalina's Place. I'm uh, just, I've got something in particular I want to get done today. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is show you this. Isn't that beautiful? £10 from Wilkinson's. Dead easy to put together, no screwdriver. And uh, it's even got some pegs that go down into the base. Hopefully it'll stay put. Anyway, I'll put some water in that afterwards. And uh, be able to hopefully give the birds a little, a little bit of water. Right, so first things first, something very mundane is to chuck this heap of weeds <laughs> on the compost heap. Right. There we go. That's not what done with. Right. So, what am I doing today? Well, first of all, I'm just putting that bucket down there. Right. What I'm doing today is I'm putting in some verbena that uh, has seeded itself. I bought a verbena a couple of years ago <coughs> when I uh, first got the allotment plots. And, uh, well, I got one and then it seeded. And I thought, oh, okay. So I'll make a bit of use of those. And then the next year, I've got uh, tons of them, the seeding all over the place, which is good really because the original one died. Um, so it's good that it has self seeded. Anyway, um, you can see it's looking beautiful. There's a mallow here, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And what I'm noticing is these are, pardon me, I think they're lichness, they could still be statues, seem to be gathering more pink in them. So they've got a nice pink and white effect on them, which is really, really gorgeous. I'm super pleased with these. I've got them all round the place now. Look, there's one there. I just do this. You can see them all. And they're just so beautiful. And there's abundant flowers on them. Everywhere you look, I've got them in. Let me show you the strawberries. I know I'm going to do the verbena. I'll show you in a minute. But look at the strawberries. I'm going to have to come down <clears throat> and put them on. I've got tons of them. They're all over the place. There's absolutely tons of them. We've had a couple of uh, strawberries and creamed it um, afters, and uh, I've done some uh, scones with cream and strawberries on. But uh, I just thought I might make some uh, jam up with the rest of them, or with some of them, because there's a lot there, and they're going to go over, and they'll go mushy. The birds so far haven't really bothered to any massive degree with them. They are a very good crop this year. So anyway, you can just before I go and do it, you can see everything's really growing nicely. These collies are really putting a bit of bulk on now. And um, I think we might be seeing a few heads coming up in those soon. They're broccoli, and I've had to raise them rather badly. There's still a few holes, but I've had to raise the uh, covers because otherwise they were a bit squashed. So um, everything's really coming on. The beetroot's really coming on nicely now. We had some rain earlier in the week and it's really made a difference. Right, so let me show you. Now I've got to be quick with these because um, I've only just dug them up. So I'll just tip them out so we can see what we've got. Oh dear. Right, they're going to sulk like mad when I put them in. But I'm going to put them in anyway. Now I'm, I'm going to put one in. I'm going to put one in here on this corner because I had dahlias here last year and they died. So um, I'm going to put one there. So I don't want to put one right opposite it over here because they tend to get quite big and they might just make it a bit difficult to walk past them. So I won't do that. Now I'll put a couple more up here. Oops, sorry about that. About here, well back there. And then what else have we got? We've got a few more here. Let's see. Uh, right. I'll put these two up here. There we go. And these two. Oops, I don't want those there. I'm going to put these over on this side of the allotment. Over here. Um, probably about here, I think. Not right on a pathway because I know how they lean outwards right so that's the plant sam i'm gonna put them in now so i don't know how i'm gonna plop, prop you up really i uh, didn't think about this right anyway so here we go let's make a hole okay nice 
hole. In, go, in they go. Get those roots in. Doing it one handed because I forgot to bring my stand with me. Stupid thing. But there you go. Right. Firm them right in. Now they are going to have a little lie down and a sulk. And I know they will because they always do. But the ground isn't totally dry. The air's not too hot. So they should be okay. Right, let's do the same up here. Let's just get the, uh, get the trowel. Sit. We're going to put these in here. Not far forwards. It's only a narrow. You can see that soil's nice and moist down there. So they should be okay. There we go. Should be all right. Firm them right in. A bit of water. There we go. Now, over here, let's do these. Pussycat's not in there again today. It's not there today. Right. Put it here. There we go. In they go. Bit of a mare's tail there, don't want that. And uh, again, a bit of water. Help them in. There we go. And then one more over here. Right, here we go. We'll put it in here. Right. The soil here is rather sandy, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but there is quite a nice big pile of um, compost, um, not compost, manure, up at the other end. So um, there we go. So we've got one there, two in that border over there, and one on that corner. And that should add nicely. Right, let's just water the water the bird the bird table here what's it called um, what is it called the bird bath there we go we'll water the bird bath there we go a little bit of water there for them how long it'll last i don't know and something else i want to show you finally we had rain at the beginning of the week and just here now you can see them coming up there's a little line of carrots. Now there's some at the far end up there, just here, see coming through. And there's one there, and then there's a few here. So I think they'll just gradually fill in. So what I'll do is I'll just give it a quick water and help it along. Um, yeah, we had rain earlier in the week um, here, quite heavy rain too, and uh, it hasn't half made a difference to things. I mean, these lettuces here, they were really tiddly. I mean, they were the same ones as I had put in up at my mum's. And the ones at my mum's did brilliantly. And the ones here, in fact, I've eaten three of the ones from my mother's. And these are still only, you know, very small, really, by the size of my hand. But there's some of them. That one over there, that one's starting to get nice. And that one there's nice. So they are coming, but they're a bit slow. Again, I think it's to do with the quality of the soil. Very, very sandy soil. Um, <clears throat> so it's all going to need feeding with compost. Manure, I should say. Now, if I show you the quality of the soil up here, I've only surface dressed this one here where the courgettes are. As you can see, I'm getting a couple of little courgettes on both of these now. Uh, but it seems to have helped with water retention. And it also seems to be chunking up the surface. The same with these over here. They've just taken off and they're obviously much, much happier. So every bed is going to need that. I mean, unfortunately I put these in and they didn't have, I didn't top dress it first, but never mind. Now this one over here, 
I uh, put this all on before I put it in and I've just hoed it because it gets weedy but I put just hoed it and it's the quality of the soil is so much different so that is the way to go right so I'll just take you here show you around finally the budley is coming up nicely yeah we're gradually getting there it's taking a bit of time but it is looking quite nice and uh, this flower bed down here, let me just show you this before I go. Um, oh, that's the other thing. Sorry, I'm jumping around a bit. These sweet corn put in exactly the same time as the ones on the other allotment plot. These seem to have taken off a lot faster and I'm sure it's because there's uh, manure on the, on the top of it. So it's definitely the way to go, isn't it? Yeah, so up here, this little flower bed here is looking nice. Um, it's all looking nice. All this richness, statues, whatever it's called, is looking nice. The uh, phlox hasn't come into flower yet, but I've noticed there's all this coming up down here. Now it's rooting out, so at some point I might be able to just chop that out and move it and put it somewhere else. And the other one I want to show you is the eryngium here lovely can't wait for it to come into flower it's nearly there now actually and down at its base if you look it's seeded last year it's seeded so I've, I've left them all in and I'm gonna there's a few more over here I'm gonna move them around the plot and uh, bulk up the borders a bit because they're really uh, you know there's a lot of space and it needs filling up but it is looking nice and I've put some cosmos in over here um, which are not looking back actually, they're looking really good. So there you go, you can see it looking, starting to look a bit fuller and a bit more like an allotment plot rather than just a load of soil. So there you go, very pleased with it. Thanks for watching, bye now.